All right, a couple weeks ago, I shared a video on this laptop, the Lenovo ThinkPad T480, and got a lot of opinions from people about the operating system that I was using. So I went ahead and I installed Linux, and in this video, I'll be talking about why I did it, my first impressions as a complete newcomer, and my use case and the customizations and apps that I've installed to help support that use case. Okay, first off, why? Um, I guess I'll start off with the curiosity piece. So I've always, you know, known about Linux as an operating system. I've always been interested in, a, in it, um, but only ever have used Mac or Windows. Like I haven't had a need to go and install a new OS. Um, understand that there's like a huge passionate community and I've always been curious about what the hype was all about. And yeah, so this like kind of long dormant interest um, got reignited by a healthy dose of internet peer pressure, uh, just reading through the comments from the video that I made about the ThinkPad. Number two, I would say is um, just a general frustration working within Windows 11. Like I said in my last video, I haven't been on Windows since like Vista. And it's changed a lot in that time. Um, main thing that I've noticed is just like the sheer amount of pop-ups and forced updates and just like bloatware that is on the system that I don't know even exists sometimes or I'm not able to remove. So with that came really long boot times, came really long um, and hard fan blowing periods where I just didn't know why the, <laughs> the computer was running so hot and I'm only ever really just writing on this thing pad so it's confusing for sure. And I want a device that just helps me focus on writing, helps me focus on whatever I'm working on in that specific time. Um, so I thought, why not look into something, like people are saying, that can help streamline that overall experience. And that brings me to my last point, which is really around flexibility. So I spent a lot of time within Windows 11 just turning things off, turning things on, trying to make it work for me. And it's very difficult to do so. If you've used it, you, you understand. So what I like about Linux Mint, which is what I installed, is that it's endlessly customizable. So even from the, the point of booting, like I, I, I set up a dual boot so I can actually still use the Windows um, partition if I want to. Um, you know, there are certain programs, per, certain games that only run on PC well, I guess, today. And it's nice not having to fully commit being as like a brand new person to the Linux ecosystem. So um, I really enjoyed playing around in Linux and making it fully personalized for me as a workspace. So I'll walk through what that meant and like my just general first impressions. So again, like disclaimer, I'm not super technical and I was honestly a little bit nervous just from the install process to go. Um, but it, it was way smoother than I expected. Like if you watch a quick tutorial, um, you'll totally be fine. It took me about 30 minutes in entirety. So booting up for the first time, I found the interface to be surprisingly intuitive. Like if you've, if you've used a Windows or a Mac, you'll pick it up pretty quickly. Um, and like I was saying earlier, the customization options are really what blew me away. Like I knew that Linux was a flexible um, OS and what surprised me is going through the different settings tabs like how much it makes you feel like you're encouraged to make it your own uh, icons themes colors everything there's like no forced things to install no bloat no huge piles of tabs you have to dig through to find what you're looking for um, it's just total control about how you want your workspace to look and feel and that's like a huge contrast, I think, from like modern day Windows and modern day Mac OS even, where you're really pigeonholed into like a specific way of your system looking and operating. Um, and that extends also to, to installing apps. So like even using command line, which is not something that I'm really into, felt pretty manageable. Like I was able to install a couple of apps um, this is like a focus writer app that I thought of that, that I saw um, online people used and haven't written anything in here yet, but it's cool that you're able to just do this and the best part of all, it's all free, right? So there's like no 
Microsoft subscriptions or nagging trials, just free functional software. Bringing it back, I guess, to like my use case and why this matters, like for me, this machine is all about focus. It's like writing, note taking, um, productivity, minimizing distractions, right? So Linux, at least this Linux Mint distro and the way that I've set it up, I hope will help with that because um, it's clean, it's simple, it's not shoving a bunch of stuff down your throat all the time. Um, but because of that, I really started to think a little bit more about like just open source software in general. And um, I think it's just really, really valuable and helpful to understand that there are options like this out there. You don't have to do what a big business is like selling you. Um, and that's kind of rare, especially in like the tech space. And you know, everything is more and more expensive every day. It feels like tech companies are like finding new ways to make money off of, off of all of us at all times. And that usually happens by like selling you things you don't want and making the stuff that you do want and you currently use worse every year. So that's why I think projects like Linux are so important. It's pretty amazing that like there's this community of people who are super passionate about just open source computing um, and bringing access to computers for people everywhere. And it's all out there for free, right? So like I said, if you're on the fence, I would definitely go for it. I think like Linux has this weird reputation of being super niche and nerdy and mysterious, overly technical, but honestly, like if you just want a simple customizable workspace to get what you want to get done, um, I found that it totally gets the job done. So give it a shot. I'm glad I did. And um, let me know if there's anything else with Linux that you think would be cool for me to explore.